Hey everybody, this is Little Gamer 909 here again for back for another video. And I've been making a lot of videos now, but this one is a little off topic, but in the realm of games, you can't forget trading card games. There have been Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, and many different others. Now they come out with stupid shit like Bakugan, but um well now I'm gonna show you my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I might be interested in selling them if anybody is still interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! But, uh, so first I'm gonna show you what's in this deck right here. This isn't really my deck, this is just my old cards that I wrapped up. And some of them that I have that complete the collections of the Sphinxes and stuff like that, I have not wrapped up yet. So, uh, let's take a look inside of here and let's see what we got. First of all, the very first thing in this package is Pyramid of Light. It says, if this face of card is removed from the side of the field, destroy Andro Sphinx and Sphinx tell you on your side of the field and remove them from the play. Then we got the Oath to summon the rituals. We got Turtle Oath. Then we got a hamburger recipe. This summons a hamburger. White dragon ritual. ritual. Black illusion ritual, which will let you summon relinquished, which has one star. And this is one of my favorite uh, spell cards. Swords of Revealing Light. It says, Flip all face down monsters on your opponent's side of the field face up. This card remains face up on the field for three of your opponent's turns. As long as this card remains face up on your field, your opponent cannot declare an attack. And uh, if anyone watches Yu Gi Oh! movies, he uses this to defeat his brother. Which stops him from using his attack. Then we got the hamburger recipes. A summoner. It summons hungry burger. It's just a card with a 2,000 attack and 18,500 defense. Then we got the crab turtle, which is summoned by the turtle oath. He's got 2,550 attack, 2,500 defense. Then we got Relinquished, which is summoned by the Black Illusion Ritual, which has a crap load of text right there, so uh, it has zero attack and zero defense. But once you read it, it will tell you. This used to be when I was little. My favorite uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card, Summon School. Now it's mine, is Dark Magician. Um, you can see it's uh, not that good of a card. It's all it's got is 2,500 attack and 1,200 defense, and that's not that much if you actually think about it. Next is Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. This can only be summoned by using Toon World. It's not as effective as the. Uh, Blue eyes, white dragon, not tune wise, but uh, it has still 3,000 attack and 2,500 defense. But you need tune world to uh, summon it. My favorite card, and also my shiniest, we've got Dark Magician. And it, this one's got 2,500 attack and 2,100 defense. Next we got Superconductor Tyrannosaurus. This one I don't really know quite a bit about, but it does have an effect and it is a first edition, as you can see right there. 
And it's got 3,300 attack and 1,400 defense. So that is pretty effective in the attack wise, but um, defending wise, not really. And uh, one of my most prized ones, we used to have the uh, three legendary cards, but we lost them because of one of my best friends, but I uh, forgave him. So next we got Andro Sphinx, which can be summoned by Pyramid of Light, my first card that I showed you. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. And um, it can be easily taken off the field, so that's why I do not like it. But I got it anyway, so. Next we got Sphinx Telia, which it can also be summoned by Pyramid of Light. And she's got 2,500 attack and 3,000 defense, so. It's there, just turned around, technically. And we got another Sphinx Telia. And those are them right there. So I'm going to go put those back right now. We're going to go, uh, you know, back right here. In our slots. And now we're moving on to these ones that I might sell. Alright, here's what we're going to see inside. I have, as you can see right there, 660 Yu-Gi-Oh cards alone in here. So, oh, that's quite a bit. Um, I'm not going to show you all of them, that would just be freaking ridiculous, but... See, I'm just going to show you uh, this, this stuff right here. Alright, so it's in my left hand. We got Simorg Bird of the Affinity. I'll tell you the attack and defense. 2,700 attack and 1,000 defense. That's Simorg. This used to be my old deck when I was young. Swift Gaia the Fierce Knight, which also has an effect. 2,300 attack and 2,100 defense. Enchanted Javelin. Spell card. Yeah, this was my little deck. Magic Cylinder. I like that card because it switches technically. It says negate the attack of one of your opponent's monsters and inflict damage equal to the attacking monster's attack to your opponent's life points. Which can, that can do a lot of damage if they're attacking by a huge number. Diffusion Wave Motion. This is also a first edition spell card. Actually, no, this is the limited edition. I'm sorry. Fruits of Kozaki's Studies. Let's try one. Alright, Rising Air Current. That is a magic card. We got Upstart Goblin, which is also a magic card. Feral Imp. Flying Kakamar number one. Stop Defense. Reload, which I also like because it says add your hand to your deck and shuffle it, then draw the same number of cards that you add to your deck. So you get like a new hand. That's exactly what you get. So again, Blade Fly. Stone Dragon, which does 2000 attack and 2300 defense. And we got a first edition Big Tusk Mammoth. 2,000 attack and 1,000 defense. Imiroko. And then that's another magic card. Change of Heart. Everyone knows that one. 
And we got another trap card. Any of them are gonna try and get through really fast. The reliable guardian. Mask of Brutality. Chain Destruction. Drill Bug. Another. Simark Bird of Divinity. Fiend Reflection number two. Mystic Horseman, Twin Headed Fire Dragon, Giant Tundra, Tribe Infecting Virus, Magical Labyrinth. Took me forever to find that card. Flame Champion, Reign of Mercy, which can help you in bad times against other po possibilities of bad dragons and so on. Magical Labyrinth, White Magical Hat, Lighten the Load, Command Knight, and so on, and so forth. And lastly, Monster Gate. Then we got a lot more that we could tell you about, but we don't have the time to. So yeah, uh, you can either message me on Facebook, post on my uh, page, Little Gamer 99. You can look in the description for that link to head to uh, Facebook, and if you don't have a Facebook, you can message me from uh, your YouTube account by just going to my channel and uh, writing on my wall, and uh, I'll definitely get back to you about this, because I've had these for over 10 years, I, don't, I have no clue what to do with them, because I got passed them down by my dad, so he used to play with gear rarely though. And, uh, so, yeah, there's an old trading card little segment for you. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos such as this and other gaming and music videos. And, uh, if you could drop a like, I would surely appreciate it. And, uh, I'll see you next time, everybody. Whee!